guys welcome back to another video today i'm doing a sit down video and i haven't done one in a very long time or at least it feels like it's been a long time today i'm filming a what's in my travel bag travel makeup bag because well i've been waiting to film this for a couple weeks now i've been traveling around here and i think it's time to do an updated one because i did film one like two three years ago so i think it would be interesting to show you what i have in mind now also with everything going on i don't use quite the same products that i used to use before so this is very mask friendly okay so this is my makeup bag this is very very big it fits everything and i have no idea where this is from i just love it it looks kind of empty because i already took out the brushes because i just didn't want to waste time digging in here looking for brushes for 10 minutes <laughs> so yeah i'm just going to start with brushes then i'll move on to makeup and i will just take a random makeup product and show you i have seven brushes i have three from primark no four from primark and three other ones that i think I got them from Wish a long time ago, I mean a long time ago. The first brush I have here, this is a powder and blusher brush from Primark. This is double sided, it has this big side which I use for bronzer and I use this one for blush. Then I have, then I have this stippling and buffer brush. I use this to brush my to brush, to blend my concealer and I use this side to powder. Then I have another one, this is smoky and eyeshadow. I use this side to just blend any eyeshadow I want to blend if I really want the buffed look. And then I use this side to do my everyday eyeshadow wing. I cannot live without those. <laughs> and then for color I have this brush I believe this doesn't have a name but this is a fluffy but some what flat brush very dirty I need to clean this <laughs> but yeah okay moving on then I have this one I have no idea what this is called but I just use this to apply my focus my highlighter or my brow bone or whatever i don't know i use this to apply highlighter then i use this one to apply my bronzer i normally like i almost always use some bronzer on my crease i just love doing it so i do that and i always use this brush then i have this pencil brush which i use to do to put highlighter on smaller places like my brow bone even though if I haven't done my brows I'll just use the big one but if I already done everything and I just want you know that little detail I'll use this but I use this mainly for my inner corner okay moving on to the makeup products for mascara I use the Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara I always use this I'm the type of girl once I open a mascara, I like to use it until it's gone or it's just bad. Um, so yeah, that's why I've been using this in all my videos. I love Essence mascaras. Then I have my concealer. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. Again, this is the type of product I use until it's gone. I don't have a lot of makeup. I do have a lot of makeup, but I don't have like a lot of makeup. So I tend to use up all my products. Then I have this Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. Being honest, uh, by the way, this is the gloss. I haven't used this once because again, I'm wearing a mask a lot. So I just don't use lip gloss. But I just love having it because I love this. This is probably my favorite lip gloss ever. And I just, I feel better knowing that I just have it there. <laughs> to follow my face, I have super oily skin. So 
even where I don't have concealer or anything, I have to powder or I like to powder, I like to make everything look a little bit less oily. This is the Kiko Milano Tuscan Sunshine Perfecting Powder. I broke it, so it looks like this now, but this is how it is supposed to be. I really like the packaging. It's very springy, summery, very beautiful. I love it. And this is a type of powder, it's not completely matte. It does mattify a little bit, but it also gives like a, a small glow, like a healthy glow to the skin. It's not like completely dull, you know? Very good, I like this a lot. And this is the type of product I like more now than I when I started using because it had this almost like a thin layer on top that it, it made the powder a little bit maybe too dry at the beginning but now that it's a little bit more used it's a lot creamier but this is like the finest powder ever it feels like nothing but it looks beautiful then I have my favorite blush this is the PS blusher blush high pigment blusher from Primark obviously it's PS anyway sorry about that in the shade Desire. I've talked about this so, so much in my channel. I love this. This is one euro and... Oh, this is one euro and 50, and it just looks so healthy. I, I, I love this, and it's so affordable. I love affordable makeup, you know? To highlight my face, I use this very old, must, my must-have essence eyeshadow <coughs> in the shade Oh, one go goldie this is a perfect size for traveling because it's like so tiny I've been using this for three years it's very expired but I just love it I travel with this because it's it's very good very affordable and it's just so small but yet so glowy and cute and yeah love it also when I got this it was still very hard to find like drugstore highlighters here in Portugal. I don't know about the other places because I think three years ago or four years ago there was already like this high highlight thing going on but here in Portugal it was still very difficult to find a drugstore one so I got this to, to use as one. Then later I got this one but that one was my favorite like first highlighter ever and I still love it. Then I have this sharpener, very boring, also very useful. <laughs> and moving on, let's do brow products. Maybe let's organize this a little bit before moving on to high shadows. Okay, brows, brows, brows. So I have two brow pencils. I have this one from Primark. This is the brow pencil in a shade, I don't know, but it looks like this. This is one euro and 50. I like this, it's maybe a little bit too creamy for me, but I just, it's very affordable, the shade is very good, it's a very warm light brown, which is exactly my hair color, but it's not my favorite. Um, it also already broke here, the spoolie, I still use this because I'm gonna use it until it runs out, but my favorite ever brow pencil is the Essence one, this is the Essence eyebrow designer in the shade blonde even though it's not really a blonde 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 but it's like a very light brunette I really like this pencil so I just brought these two in case I just didn't know which one to use which is what happens to me on everyday basis I don't know which one I want to use so I just have both. And then I have the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara in the shade, this is brown I think, Blondy Brows. Again, not very blonde, more of a light brown. It's very good, very affordable. And I have this Kiko Eyebrow Designer Gel Mascara. This is translucent one, this is, the other one is tinted, this is translucent and I like to use this sometimes when I just don't feel like putting any color, but I just want to make the eyebrows 
look a little bit less crazy I'll just use this one um, most days I just use both because I think this one sticks the brows better than the essence one but I want the tint of the essence one so I use the Kiko one first let it dry a little bit and then I'll just apply the essence one and then moving on I have the PS eyeliner this is the light brown one I said this many 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 times on my channel I don't have a brown nude lip liner so I use this eyeliner on my lips this is the lip combo I use almost every single time I do my lips or put makeup on my lips which is very rare lately um, so yeah I use this pencil and I use the lip gloss then I have the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade 02 Hot Chocolate these are some of the best eye pencils I've ever used I have this in so many different colors I love them buy them if you want affordable cruelty free good eye pencils just buy this this is my favorite eye pencil to tight light <clears throat> tight line my eyes love it very good very creamy very pigmented and it does long last a long time does long last a long time and the last product on my bag is the Soap X Revolution Ultra Eyeshadows Palette. If you're not new here, you know I love this palette. I love Soap. I love her videos. She's one of my favorite YouTubers ever. And even though I like, even if she wasn't my favorite YouTuber, or one of my favorite youtubers ever this is such a good palette it has a every single color you will ever need while traveling because you can do a neutral look you can do a warm tone a cool tone you can play with different glitter not glitters shimmers and it has a dark brown and it also has a dark or a dark obviously it's dark a black a matte black which makes a difference in my opinion because a lot of palettes they just don't do matte dark shadows and I think it's so important for me I like to do a small wing and if a palette doesn't have one I have to bring my single one or I don't know you can do a smoky eye you can do a cat eye look with this so this is the palette I chose to travel with very good it has everything you ever need and it has a massive mirror like like look at the size of this this is massive and this is everything I have on my makeup bag it feels so good to be able to travel again even though it, even if it's like a two-hour trip somewhere around here it just it makes me so happy <laughs> and so excited and so hopeful so I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please make sure to like it, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, I would really appreciate it and I'll see you very very soon on my next one.